New details, Benton Harbor's mayor says there haven't been any shootings or murders since they started their 21 days of peace. 16 News Now reporter Jack Springate is telling us how they kept the peace so far. Jack. Well, there was a lot of collaboration or a, there was a lot of optimism, I should say, about the collaboration that's not only helped keep people safe these last eight days, but also has helped resolve issues before they become violent. City leaders say they want to keep being proactive in stopping gun violence after the first week of the 21 days of peace resulted in no shootings or murders. We have not had any recent uh, shootings or homicides, so I'm happy and pleased to announce that. Even calls of shots fired are dramatically down, dramatically down. Um, which is which is a, a step in the right direction. Very good. Mayor Muhammad and Director McGinnis said the interactions between residents and law enforcement have been compliant as they work to enforce the new curfew for teens under 18 and make more traffic stops. Lately, when I hear sirens, I get greatly concerned. Uh, or when I see uh, troopers or police cars, but now the ease is coming. Like the mayor said, we'd rather have compliance than be punitive. Faith leaders are also playing a big role in keeping the peace, transforming their churches into places to mediate problems before they turn violent. I think that even though it is a uh, good place to celebrate, but I, I, I also say that we must keep our foot on the gas and we must still be proactive, you know, in this uh, daily uh, approach working as a united front to finish these 21 days of peace without gun violence. And Chief McGinnis says they've heard from a significantly higher number of residents reaching out to them with information and tips. So he wants to reiterate to everyone if you see something, say something so you can keep Benton Harbor safe. For now, reporting live in Benton Harbor, I'm Jack Springate, 16 News Now. All right, Jack, thanks so much.